Hello everybody, it's Sarah Wolf and welcome to another stream. We are back. The six year hiatus is over. We're coming back to Guild Wars 2. I want to give a quick shout out to three people real quick before we start the stream here. I want to shout out uh, Zizo, Kuma, and Tofu. Uh, you three the other day within 24 hours uh, basically showed me that there's still of you, some of you out there who do remember me back from 2012 when my world basically, my personal life world just basically ended. And you guys still remember me. And it's an amazing feeling that I'm never going to forget. It is the best feeling that you can get as a content creator and such so i think it's time for me to come back um well at least until final fantasy 16 comes out for steam um so because i will be playing the hell out of that when it comes out so why did i leave i left because like i said my personal life ended in short my my uh, now ex-wife and my father my father died and my ex-wife wanted to leave me basically in the same way so my entire world was turned upside down and I needed to use video games as a place of like a safe haven or escape for a very long time. I played a lot of, uh, got a lot of my frustrations out playing uh, APB Reloaded. Uh, my computer was not up to specs enough to actually do what I really wanted to do with the game. And now that I'm in a position a year later, uh, one year later since I've got this new system, and I have the support group I have behind me with my kids and my wife. I did win the custody of my kids, uh, at least the primary custody of them, rather. Um, that I am now in a position where I can actually do stuff again. Um, and I feel great. Also want to give shout outs, especially to Varys, who is my wife. Uh, she supports me through all this. And I want to give her a big shout out to her. Uh, Lana and Panda, my two older kids, and then the little one. Um, they're all supportive of me. They love video games too. They like playing video games with me and such. Um, I also want to give a shout out to the three, like I mentioned before, for reminding me that there's still some of you out there who do remember who I am um, and, and enjoyed the content I did put out there and the information I put out there and the um, and all the content I did. So I appreciate that. And I also want to give a quick shout out also to uh, Cyronica, uh, Julia. Um, for helping me with the designs for uh, my logos and such like that. Um, also, shout out to uh, Stardust Wolf also for the uh, other um, logos and stuff that I did for, for my Super Wolf uh, logos. Here's the little one who I'm actually uh, watching right now. Hello. He is wearing he's wearing clothes. Don't worry. He is wearing clothes down there. Maybe a big Okay. Hold on a second. Um, I know Malkiar, you're still out there. You haven't forgot about me either. We we uh, we uh, um, meet each other from time to time. Do we did a collaboration for a game for a uh, beta test for a game recently, which was really fun. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you to all of you for that. Um, so with that out of the way, um, I think it's time for me to get into the game, shall we? All right. Back into Guild Wars 2. Huh? It's been a while. Huh? Right over there is my media, in case you didn't know, is uh, twitch.tv slash Gaming. There's two M's at gaming. That's where all my live streaming is usually done at. Because uh, Twitch is usually better for streaming wise like that. And if you want to follow the cut down or the uh, video portions of my streams, that is over on youtube.com slash saberwolf18. Still, that's, uh, that site is still up. I'm also available on Twitter for SaberWolf18. I do have a Facebook page. I am branching out all over the place to try to give you guys the most. All right. So, without a way, let's go, shall we? Guild Wars 2. Now, last where we left off was the middle of, of uh, Path of Fire. So I'm not sure what to do for play game-wise. I'm not sure what to do 
play game wise because I left off in a very weird spot in the middle. Excuse me, of Path of Fire. I don't even remember which character I was even using. I think it was my Char Warrior Double Dagger. I think it was Ryan that was using. I don't remember. It might be this guy, my big guy here. Um, I don't remember. Um, so I'll have to figure out what to do and how and where to get back into this game or start from the beginning. I don't know. I really don't want to start from the beginning because I really don't have a character for that. Now, granted, I do have a level 80 uh, expansion booster, um, and I do have seven, eight, and I was doing the birthday presents, guys. <laughs> I have like eight or nine uh, level 60 boosters with uh, a stack of um, one level boosters to get me up to 80 that way, and I also have like a, over 100 and. 50 bo birthday boosters and I have like all the stuff I need to quickly make a character um, if I want to start all the way at the beginning and play them through the game I don't think I really want to play one character through the entire game that is like all the expansions and everything I really don't think I want to do that um, so I just I don't know but here we are here is the game um, we have all our characters still. Our account was never hacked. We still have all of our equipment and everything, which is great. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Daddy. And again, I'm just going to go through my characters real quick so you all remember who they are. This is our uh, uh, Subaru Akame. This is the same character. This is the same name I had back from the original Guild Wars game. It is my number one character. It's the character I wrote my book about. Yeah, I wrote a book. Yeah, I was writing a book based in the Guild Wars 2 universe, similarly to the Ghost of Ascalon, like that. Um, I got through about uh, eight or nine chapters of it, um, and I kind of walked away from that for a while, too. Um, but I was writing it for quite a while. Um, it is basically uh, the majority of these characters all grouped together in a setting. Um, it's Saru Akame, it's Korigane Densai. Uh, Toru Jikido, uh, Magoto Shikiro, um, Chasumin Hanabara, and uh, Niko Zatsumi, and I think Ryan's in it? I don't remember. I think Ryan's in it too, but I don't think I've introduced him yet in the book. Um, but those are all the characters in it. Um, there I do touch on Masuto Kara. Oh, no, not that one. Who's one? Uh, this one, Reji Katsune, uh, who was a founding member also of this guild, these characters this is the two founding fathers is this one and this one um of this guild the, the originally story actually started back in a um on a forums group and we kind of writing this kind of random story and i just kind of grabbed the story and i took off with it well they everybody kind of left um and i kind of just picked up the piece of the story kind of wrote rewrote some things and built it from there of all these characters and uh and each one of them has a special niche and deals that to do um, so it's kind of fun. Uh, but once again, this is Saburo Kame. This is my, uh, this is the, uh, dra he's on the Dragon Hunter build, this Guardian build. Uh, we have Corrigan Densai. Of course, kind of looks like, uh, Iron Man. Um, he is the, uh, engine, one of my engineers. He's the Hall Smith because I thought it was kind of cool to have a Sorin having all these really big weapons to counter, counteract him with a power suit and everything. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, Torjikido is the other uh, engineer, my other primary engineer. Uh, Char, uh, he's the scrapper because he has a lot of tricks and skills up his sleeves. I kind of, I really love his build actually. I really loved his character too um, that I was designing for him. Uh, Rijikatsune Katsune is my uh, was was my thief when I know that they nerf pistols in this game constantly. Uh, rotate pistol uh, spam. That was the build I loved to use. One of the builds I when I one of the builds I designed. Um, but of course that's been nerfed now, so you can't constantly repeat it as you used to be able to. Um, unless they changed that now. But last time I remember it wasn't there. Um Mikuto Shinkiro. Um obviously my James names are plain words, English, translated to Japanese. Maybe it's not the right ordering or everything, but I like the naming of it. Uh, this is my Mesmer female human mesmer because you know that's the way it is <laughs> um she is the spy in the story that i did um uh, then we have uh 
Tuketsu Kamanare. Uh, this is supposed to be my. This is supposed to be Panda in the game, and Adiku Ukame is uh, is uh, Lana, who is my oldest daughter. That's supposed to be her. Uh, neither one in the story, but I just kind of made those characters. I almost never use them. I knew I do use uh, this one though, but this one kind of got replaced by this one. Uh, Justin Man Hanabira, because I just love, 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 love the character design I did on this character. Um, she actually is the second character you actually meet in the story that I wrote. Um, she was supposed to be a housemaid that basically had uh, more powers to her than what she thought. She was actually hired by uh, Reggie and was taking care of the keep until my guy, my Subaru guy, came home. And she, I just love this character look design. It's amazing. Of course, it's a ranger druid. Um, why not? So I love, love, love the character design. I just came out with the Savari. I actually did not like, I didn't like Savari originally. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. I actually didn't like him. Um, I didn't really care for him. But I think I've rolled, re-rolled Savari I don't know how many... I've lost count number of times I've rerolled Safari. I think I rolled a Necro once, and I rolled a uh, Warrior. I had a Warrior for a very long time, and then I rerolled it to uh, rolled to a Ryan because I preferred that look a lot more. And I think this character slot's been rerun so many times. And I do have this other one over here, which was another Engineer, because I like the... One of the Engineer builds they produced here, um, I, didn't, I don't think I'm going to run with this. I might delete this character slot. And maybe try one of the newer uh, builds that are out there. Uh, so I'm not even going to go over this one. It's just a random name I kind of put there. Uh, Raccoon. Raccoon Kukatsu, I guess is how they say it. Uh, that was just a randomly generated one. Pretty much. Uh, but this character is just amazing. Uh, Musuto Karasu. Uh, though this character is interesting how I designed this one. Of course, this is a Revenant. This character was actually my RP character. Um, in the game back in the day. And he actually comes from the original Guild Wars 1. Uh, I believe his story was that he was trapped in the mists. Um, he was real okay, going all the way back, he's from Cantha. Um, he was <clears throat> he was a son of an in of an innkeeper uh, where a bunch of warriors would come through and stay during the uh, war between the uh, Kurziks and the Luxons. Um he learned a lot from the warriors there and then one day there was a raid on his house by the uh, I can't remember what race it was <clears throat> raided his house uh, and he all of his family died in it and he took all the skills he learned from all the press, uh, fighters and everything and wanted to uh, get them back go to the mists to get this family back um and he, during in that at the same time, that was when the hero of the game um, for uh, Nightfall uh, beat. Uh, that's when um, uh, what was it? Cormier, I think it was. I think that's when Cormier uh, uh, took Godhood there, and it collapsed the mist and changed everything. And he got stuck there, and um, two hundred fifty years went by. I think it's. I think this is how long the game changed. Two hundred fifty years later, right? Um, so two hundred fifty years later, um, he was discovered in the mist by Cormier, and he explained to him that you know, you know, you have to live on and learn from strife and everything. And but before sending him back, he took an oath to pledge to her and became um, a uh, revenant. Uh, and he's currently in the Guild Wars 2 game. Um, so that's how that's how his story is. It's a kind of crazy story I created there. But um, yeah. Niko Zatsumi. This is my necromancer. Um, Charber necromancer. She's really cool and hip. Uh, she's She and Magodu are actually best best buddies. These two are inseparable in the story. Um, the Mesmer and the Necro. Um, she's just a straight necromancer. I, just, uh, I think I have her built as a Wellomancer. Support Wellomancer and um, individual target. Um, switch to individual target spam. Um, I really like the. I really like her. I really like her build. I need to tweak it more and it make a better understanding for Necros. I kind of play it fine. Um, but I need to have a better understanding. I can actually improve on her quite a bit. Um, and as you can see, there's a theme to them on my armors. All my armors are black and silver except for 
just a meme. And last but not least, certainly not least, is Ryan Unari, the Spellbreaker Double Dagger Char. The one legendary weapon I wanted to get for them was the uh, legendary Char Daggers. I forget what they're called. Uh, the Claws or whatever. Um, those are the legendary weapons I actually do want. The one. Uh, and I want it for this character specifically because he is a, do a Double Dagger build. Uh, I just love how he can hop in and out and fight and stuff like that. So, really cool. And I kind of fell in love with his goofiness. And if you're following my uh, D&D for the, uh, technically the third campaign. First campaign we never stream uh, for Friday Night Dice. By the way, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern, come back. We're finishing Stalmast uh, Layer, Stalmast Mine Part 2. That'll be tomorrow night live right here on Saber Wolf Gaming Tombs and Gaming um, at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but this is the actual same character name and same uh, gist for the character as in the uh, third campaign that we never really finished. Um, so, uh, but this is the same uh, character idea. All right, so that's the character rundown. Uh, that'll make it for this video and then kind of introduction video for uh, for the YouTube portion. Uh, Steve, please stick around for uh, Twitch. Again, this is right here again, which is Serial Gaming, 2Ms and Gaming uh, for that. And also uh, YouTube.com slash SaberWolf18 where the cut down versions of all these videos will be on. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in game or in chats and like that. All right, it's good to be back. I am SaberWolf. Have a good day.